Hey there, this is Julie from the Greater Grand Forks Visitors Bureau again for our next installment of Forks 5 and 5. And today on this beautiful fall day, we are out at Patch on the Point, uh, Pumpkin Patch in East Grand Forks. And we are with Kristen to hear about all things fall and Halloween. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so... How did this great pumpkin patch come to be? We, we, we know you have the stables out here, and um, it's, it's so beautiful. How, how did this come up? Well, we've been doing the, all the horse-drawn carriage rides in the Grand Forks community and local communities for since about 2008. And we noticed that sometimes when we would go places, people would wait like an hour for a five-minute wagon ride. And then we added the pony rides, and it was the same result. And so we thought, what more what more could we add to the community and how can we expand our business without stretching too thin? So we thought, well, we're bringing them out to the farm. And um, so we researched for a couple of years and visited different pumpkin patches and things like that and picked out the things we liked and didn't like and decided to do a pumpkin patch. <laughs> Well, it's great. It's it's Thank absolutely you. beautiful out here. And so we know that you have the Paradise Point stables and you have rare horses. And like you said, you've done the horse drawn rides. Um, and we see that there are other animals out here too. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the animals people can see? Yes. Yeah, so for our horse drawn wagon rides and carriage rides, we have rare gray Shire horses. Um, the Shire breed is a very rare breed and almost even endangered if they weren't domesticated. So we really love our Shire horses and they have great personalities. Um, during our pumpkin patch, we uh, we borrow lots of animals. We borrow alpacas from the Frederick Farm, alpacas in Northwood, um, chickens from Heather Lentz, uh, we, gosh, goats from Syncopil Acres and Fisher. We just have a great community support, bringing all these animals together for people to enjoy and um, interact with. Great, well, and we have this guy right here. Kaboom. Kaboom. He is the morning greeter and we just love Kaboom. So we can hear some of the animals out here this yes. morning. It's fun. Uh, so we know you're more than just a pumpkin patch out here too. Yes. We know that you have lots of special events. Can you yes. give us a little taste on, on what kind of events you're having out here? Well, we wanted everybody to be able to come, so we made it affordable, and we we thought, well, how can we get them to come more than once? Um, it's so close to town, and it's just lots of fun things to do, so we decided to do special Saturday activities. And so we do, like, the dog agility from the Grand Forks Dog Training Club. Um, we have a magician, John Horpadal. He's a local magician. He, we just love him. Um, we've had the Nature Connection out of Bemidji, Minnesota. Uh, mutton busting by Wojo's Rodeo is, like, probably <laughs> one of our biggest events, um, because you just don't see that around here a lot. Um, we just we just try to do something every Saturday just to um, draw people back in and engage the community. Great, great. And so should people come hungry? I hear there might be some food offerings. We have awesome food trucks, by the way. Um, we like to rotate them out too so that we get different varieties. But we start every year with the red pepper. That's kind of been our tradition for the last <laughs> two years. And everybody loves the red pepper. Um, we do goat yoga the day that they come. Oh. So it's kind of a fun day, goat yoga and grinders day. <laughs> um, and so we have SNS Specialty Foods, who are the Bratwurst Kings. I know that the tater tot nachos are a huge hit here. And um, today we have the Groovy Grub, and we'll have Lucky Brew out of Warren's. So we kind of change it up a little bit. It's well, fun. So people get a taste of something they might not have had before, too, then. Yes. Great. A lot of quick bites, too, for those families that are coming through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want people to come out here. Yes. So can you tell us your hours and how to get out here, where you're located? Yes. So we are open Thursdays through Sundays, uh, typically from... Thursdays and Fridays, 5.30 to 7.30. Saturdays and Sundays, 11 to 7. Um, this week in particular, we have extended hours because there's no school for MEA. So we are open noon to 7, both Thursday and Friday. But normally just Thursday and Friday, Friday evening and Saturday and Sunday. Um, to find us, you can go to pointparadisestables.com. We also have a Facebook page under Point Paradise Stables or Patch on the Point. Um, otherwise, I always say to people, you can Google either one and hit directions. It will take you right out here. My address doesn't work, but you can Google me. Um, <laughs> I googled my way out here yeah. this morning, and, yes. And you probably notice we have great signs yep. along Bing, Bigland Road here on the south end of East Grand Forks. So if you can get to Bigland Road and head south, you'll find us. Yeah, I saw the signs, so I knew I was on the right yes. track. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So again, your website, pointparadisestables.com. Yep. And if you want to hear more about all things Simply Grand, log on to visitgrandforks.com. Thanks so much. See you next time.